Hey guys, Dave the MMP back on YOLA for some little silver DIY fun. Uh, this week I've been working on Victron systems. So I've got a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, I was doing a lot of navigation and the navigation system on this boat's pretty much done now. I'm just waiting for my waterproof uh, touch screen to come. And then I'll do a final complete video on that. Um, Victron, so I got a lot of Victron stuff here and you can use the Victron app. That's typically what I'm doing now. So when I come to the boat, I fire up my Victron app. Everything is Bluetooth to it and I can see the whole system. Um, but I wanted to have a little display, kind of like what the Serbo GX has, but Serbo GX with a display is about eight or 900 bucks in Canada. Uh, it's around 600 US. Um, and I thought to myself, well, I could just program a Raspberry Pi and buy a really cheap little touchscreen for 50 bucks. See lots of guys on YouTube doing this with their vans. Um, why couldn't I do it in a boat? Um, so let's get into it. All right, so here's my little test setup. I've got a uh, solar charge controller. It's got the uh, COM port connected to a USB connector. And a lot of guys are buying these. You can buy them from... Uh, off Amazon, you can buy them from Victron, but you can make this cable pretty easily. There's a little chip in here, and basically this guy is running uh, uh, RS-485, and you convert it to USB. You just buy these little JST connectors, this little four port connector. You can get like 10 of these for 10 bucks off Amazon. They're just a little pigtail. And then you get the chip. And I'll put the, uh, the, the link to these guys. They've got the chip in here for the Victron app and you just saw actually it's only three wires it's black yellow and white um, so you end up but you end up having to take these little uh, wires out of the plug it's kind of hard to see here but there's a little connector there and you just pull the little connector up and pull them out you have to reorganize the order of these things and the order is black yellow white and the red wire is not used. Um, the chip comes with four wires here, red, white, yellow, and green. The red wire is not used. So you can buy these things. They're like, I think I got three of them uh, for 15 bucks off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Same thing with the JST connectors. They're really cheap. You just have to reorganize it. And uh, so what I did was I just connected a battery. I've got a 100 amp battery lithium that I built here. And I'm using that to simulate the battery on this thing. I've got my 18 volt. You can use any, well, I'm use, just using a regular 18 volt as my PV simulation right now. So I don't have a uh, solar panel hooked up to this charge controller. I'm just going to use a battery that's a higher voltage, which works just fine. So I just use a jumper. I just connected it to the PV source and now it thinks it's got a solar source connected to it. Uh, that's talking to the Pi. And I'm basically running via Venus OS and I can see it on my phone. I can see it on the VRM portal. Um, but I'm gonna do another little demo on how to reorganize these cables so that you make the cable properly. Um, I've plugged it into my smart shunt. I plugged it into the solar charge controller that's in the boat. And as soon as you plug it into the uh, to the Raspberry Pi, it automatically recognizes it. The Venus OS uh, software recognizes it right away. And it tells, this guy tells the Venus OS software, hey, I'm a solar charge controller. Here's all my information. When I plugged it into the smart shunt, it did the exact same thing. It said, hey, I'm a smart shunt. Here's my information. So... I'll do uh, another video with the display. Right now I'm running it as headless and I can log into it with my computer or my phone. I've got it hotspotted to my phone right now so I can see it on the Victron app. And that's pretty much it. That'll get mounted permanently in the boat and I'll have a little touchscreen display that will show me all my information about Victron. All right guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see you next weekend for some more DIY sailboat fun.